I'm finally back with more free Nintendo Switch games. Thank you for the support on my first video, but it has been a good few months already since I filmed that and I definitely have some new favorites that I'd love to share with you. By the way, hey, my name is Kat, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for joining. It should go without saying, but this is my personal list, so if you don't find your own favorite game, definitely feel free to check out the first video or pop it down in the comments below so that I can check it out. Before we start, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. I will also be giving away three $25 Nintendo eShop cards, so be sure to keep watching to find out how to be one of the lucky three winners. You can download Disney Emoji Blitz right now on your phone or tablet and it's absolutely free. It's a three match game like no other. Each emoji has its own unique power up and you can pick and choose which one to use in every game you play so it adds a really fun layer of strategy and keeps things a little bit different every time. My favorite emoji to use so far is actually Simba and he is the very first emoji that I unlocked. The Lion King is one of my all-time favorite classic Disney films since I was little and I'm not so little anymore but he's still adorable. If you are a Disney, Pixar, or a Star Wars lover this is perfect for you. They pretty much add new characters almost every week so you're bound to see your favorite characters. It's so exciting trying to collect all the emojis from the different tiers in game from silver, gold, rainbow exclusive, and even story or villain emojis. The best part of it though for me might be being able to use these emojis when texting my friends and family. You can show off all the cute little emojis that you earned and maybe even make it a game within a game and see who can collect more. Disney Emoji Blitz is also celebrating their fifth birthday on July 14th of this year and to celebrate that you have the chance to unlock Rainbow Mickey all month in the monthly token quest. And one last thing, I will be giving away three $25 Nintendo eShop cards because we can't get enough of the Nintendo Switch. That's what this video is for after all. All you have to do is download Disney Emoji Blitz using my link down below, somewhere here. <laughs> get to level 10, screenshot your progress, and tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I will be picking winner exactly a month from today, and I'll be announcing either Either on Instagram or Twitter so feel free to follow my social pages so you can keep an eye out and also find out about future very exciting giveaways like this one. A huge thank you again to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. Sponsors really help support my channel and allow me to keep giving back to the community so good luck to everyone entering now onto the video. Starting off with Apex Legends, which actually just came to the Nintendo Switch spring of this year. I think it's very cool to see more games being included on the Switch that has crossplay so that you can play with all your friends or family on different platforms. Apex Legends is a first person shooter battle royale game where you get to select your hero from an ever growing roster of legends with their own special abilities. So it really encourages strategic play with your squad to help each other out. It's also really fun to play around with the different legends because each of them can play so differently. Rogue Company is another really fun cross-play game on the Nintendo Switch and you can play this pretty much with every other platform, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. This time it's a team-based third-person tactical shooter where you are given different missions playable on different maps. You can choose from various elite mercenaries called rogues and they also have their own special skills and perks for you to master. Now after playing these fast-paced, sometimes stressful shooter games, I love to wind down with a relaxing game. This game actually came highly recommended for my previous free Switch games video and even my cozy games video, and this is Color Zen. It's so simple and chill and just so much fun. It's like a meditative puzzle game where you have to match the colors of these abstract shapes in the correct order to complete the level. The music is very soothing as well. I think it's great for playing very short and sweet or have a really long session it's up to you. Island Saver I think would be great for our younger Switch players out there, although I'm not so young and I definitely played this game quite a bit too. <laughs> Basically you are tasked to help save all these islands that have been laid to waste. You have to fight these monsters called litterbugs that love to create messes, so you have to clean up after them and rescue the animals that are being affected. It does have a nice sort of educational aspect to it about the effects of littering and saving the 
environment and all of that. Besides that, there is a lot of game content to enjoy. And if you love the free game, they do offer paid DLC as well for even more maps and storylines. Kitten Squad is a top-down twin-stick shooter style game about kittens killing robots but for a good cause. These evil robots have taken different animals captive and the kitten squad is called on to rescue them. You're given really out of the box quirky but effective weaponry from carrot rocket launchers to yarn ball guns. It offers co-op as well and fun fact it's created by PETA, a very unlikely game creator and it does have some messages from them in the game so you know take that as you will but it's a free game and it's very very fun. Fantasy Strike is is described as a colorful fighting game where fantasy meets martial arts. If you like fighter games, I mean, this is a very straightforward game and you'll know exactly what to expect. It's that sort of arcade style, very basic, all the characters are available for you to play from the beginning, with each having their own special moves. The combos are very beginner friendly as well, so it's fairly easy to get into. There's an online mode and of course a local two-player mode. And I mean, you can't beat this for free, you guys. Rocket League is like soccer or football, <laughs> but instead you're driving these crazy hybrid vehicles. Again, pretty straightforward, but it is so fast paced. It has a split screen 1v1 mode as well if you want to play with someone locally, which is pretty cool, or you can take part in multiplayer tournaments online, complete challenges, and did I mention this is also crossplay? You can play with up to eight people and it can get pretty chaotic, at least for me, but in a fun way. This was a very popular paid game for years, so it's nice to see when games like these are being offered for free now so that more people can enjoy. Spellbreak is another battle royale game, but instead of guns, you're a battle mage and you use spells to defeat your enemies. I think it offers a really nice spin to the genre while keeping a lot of the familiar things from other games that players might be coming from. I personally really enjoy magic themes in video games, so I was excited to try Spellbreak as soon as it released, and it didn't disappoint. Like other in the genre, there are different classes to fit different playstyles, so you can really build up your mage how you want and equip them with the magic you prefer. Smite is a very popular MOBA game or a multiplayer online battle arena game. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Now this is what I can't say I've played too much of to be honest, but I have a few friends who are really into Smite and I've also heard amazing things about it from other gaming YouTubers. What intrigues me the most about it is the mythological themes in game from Greek gods to Norse, ancient Egyptian, and more. You can play as many different gods and you can unlock a greater variety as you play. Last but not the least, if you are a fan of Tetris 99, which I mentioned in my previous free games video, Nintendo has come out with Pac-Man 99, another one of their classic games with a new battle royale twist. Become number one out of 99 players by playing, well, Pac-Man. I am not the greatest at regular Pac-Man, so I'm I'm absolutely lost when it comes to Pac-Man 99, but you don't have to be good at a game to have fun. You do need Nintendo Switch Online to download and play this game, but it's quite affordable, especially if you get into a family plan if you maybe have friends or several members in your family that own Switches, it makes it so worth it. The Switch definitely has a pretty good variety of free games and I can't wait to see how the list keeps growing through the years to come. I'm sure most of you will find at least one game that you'll love and sink many hours into like I have. <laughs> Let me know down below what you think of these games and which are your personal favorites. Thank you so much for watching. As always, have an amazing day and I will see you next time.